Okay, so believe it or not, this video is actually about photographing coffee. Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Kevin Lawrence and on this channel we focus on product photography and still life photography. Today we're going to be photographing some coffee beans. It's going to be a flat lay shot uh, set up with two lights. Um, so let's jump in and I'm going to show you around what I've got set up. Okay, so I spent quite a bit of time arranging the, the three boxes that we've got in here. So these are different types of coffee uh, flavors, um, same brand. So this, I've actually used the lid of the, the product. Um, there's a whole bunch of other ones in here. Um, you can see. Um, so I picked, picked these ones out. I really like the colors and how they contrasted quite nicely with the coffee beans. Um, filled the, the lid with everything. Um, and then set the camera up to come shoot straight down. And in the final shot, I'm probably just gonna crop in to the square. So anything that we see, uh, r you know, round about, and even the, the rim of the, the, the lid, that doesn't matter, I'm gonna be cropping in. Um, but I really focused on the positioning, tried to get quite a nice composition of the, the, the three uh, boxes, three different flavors here. And uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a baseline shot and, and get started setting up the lights how I want them and really bringing this, this product to life. So the very first thing that we have to do is we have to knock out all this ambient light first before we can use the strobes. So if I just take a shot and I've got my ISO set to 100, uh, the aperture is set to f5.6 and my shutter speed is at 1 250th of a second and I can see that everything is completely black, which means we're knocking out all these, these ambient lights and video lights and things, which means when we use the strobes, we're only gonna pick up those lights. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on this light here. Now we can see that the light is shining at an angle down and picking up all the beans here um, and kind of this side and there's a little bit of shadow here and here, okay? And I've kept it on a reasonably low setting at the moment. I'm just gonna take a shot first. Okay, so looking at the screen, I can see uh, that with just the just the reflector, um, it is very bright um, and a little overexposed, and uh, there's some deep shadows here. Uh, I don't like how bright the the light is catching the beans, uh, so I'm going to minimise that a little bit first. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use this grid. It's a honeycomb grid, it's 60 degree honeycomb grid. So I'm just going to pop this in here. Now that I've got that grid in there, it's going to help uh, stop so much light spill um, and it's going to focus the light a little bit more. So let's take another shot and see what that looks like. If we compare it to as you can see, what it's done is reduced the harshness of the light 
that's kind of hitting here and, and actually you can see it on this side it's definitely softened the light that's hitting the coffee beans and, and the product itself um, really improve the tones and the colour as well so pretty pleased with that I'm going to zoom in here just check okay so I need to sharpen this a little bit more focus so if I switch to live view let's zoom in again and then what's great is when you're tethered um, within capture one you can tweak the amount of focus that you have just to sharpen things up there we go we zoom back out we're just going to check these ones as well let's take another shot okay so that's much sharper than that as you can see check these guys are still in focus good looking good next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on this light and this light is just set to slave mode so the receiver on the camera so when the, the camera when I press the shutter button the my main light here will fire and this is set to slave mode so as soon as that one goes off this one will go off as well and both will fire at the same time uh, again got this kind of set quite low um, I've got a reflector with no honeycomb grid so I'm just going to take a shot and we can see what that does okay so great it's, it's already filling in the the light especially at the top here we're just getting some shadow here um, but I feel that this is this is way too much light so what we need to do is we need to diffuse this light as well how am I going to defuse the light there's a number of ways that you can do that you can use tracing paper which we've I've used in previous videos um, but today I'm just going to use the kind of diffusion side of the five in one reflector and so I'm just going to position this round about here and the moment I don't have anything to attach it to so I'm actually just going to hold it while I take the shot and we'll see what that does okay so if I hold it yeah, roughly about there and when we compare it to the previous shot you can see it's a drastic change it just softens that light a lot awesome okay I do I do like the shot that we're getting I love the color I love the contrast of the beans but I do feel like there's just it's still a little boring we need something else to kind of focus the eye and, and, and bring this to life a little bit so I mean we are stuck inside uh, so I've not got a huge uh, amount of choice maybe but I'm gonna go have a hunt around the house and see what I can find to make this just bring this shot to life a little bit more
So just to make this a little bit more interesting, I've got this guy kind of a little bit nearer the, from here up to the camera itself is a little bit nearer. So I'm hoping this will be kind of more in the foreground of the shot and then it'll be a little bit blurrier. And then we've got two plants here just kind of framing the corners slightly. Not what, sure what this guy is going to do. It might not be powerful enough for it to leave any sort of uh, shadow or anything like that. Probably need to be a lot closer to the light to, to achieve that. I might just leave this guy off just now. And we've got this light kind of shooting through the leaves. Uh, and I think this is just going to add a little bit more life to the photo. Uh, now that I'm happy with the kind of position of the leaves and things like that, just helping to frame the shot, let, let's, let's take a shot and see how it looks now. It's nice, there is some nice contrast, there's some shadows in, in here and things. I like how some of these leaves are a little blurred, that's what I was kind of going for. Yep, pretty happy. I'm just going to check my... It's not as sharp as I would like it to be, so I'm going to refocus, um, just because I move things around. Uh, so if I go into my live view, and I'm just going to, again, zoom in. See how that, I'll take another shot and see how that looks. Okay, so that's much sharper. Here, check this one as well. Looking good. And that's nice and sharp as well. Awesome, I'm really pleased with that. Um, I don't think there's a lot more we could do. I could play around with the light a little bit more. Maybe, let's maybe see what it looks like if we fill in some of this, some of the shadow in here a wee bit, just bounce some light back in. Check that's not in the shot. Take another one. Let's compare it to the last one. So it has very subtly filled in a bit of light here. Not a huge amount, but it's helped a little. I'm happy with that. We've got the product in focus, uh, nice contrast, nice colours and a little bit of framing with the leaves. So I think this one's a success. I'm going to, in the next video, just jump into Lightroom and we'll edit this, we'll crop it, we'll make it look nice. Okay, thanks very much for joining me on this episode. If you like it, give me a thumbs up and uh, hope everybody's doing well, keeping safe and keeping themselves very busy uh, during everything that's kind of going on in the world right now. Thanks for joining me guys. Cheers.